Hello and welcome to a video which is designed to go over some of the key enhancements that are found in the DNA Center 2.2.2.3 release which is commonly known as Fury. Specifically this video will go over some of the enhancements found with respect to artificial intelligence and machine learning. Let's begin with comparative analytics. Alright, so for comparative analytics we have a few things to show you. First, what you can do is you can click on the hamburger icon and you scroll down to assurance and then focus on the network comparison section. So if we click on that, what you're going to notice is that you can look at how two different entities compare in the network. What we had prior was just buildings. You can just compare two different buildings across these KPIs. So things like radio throughput, interference, channel utilization, etc. But what we give you the option now to do is also look at how AP models may compare across various KPIs, or in this case, endpoints. So if we chose endpoints and we looked at something like average onboarding time, you can choose the product family and then you can click on a day and then you can see how, in this case, onboarding time gets distributed across and between two different types of endpoints. We also have the ability, if we were to look at a specific access point, so if we went to the hamburger icon, went to Assurance, Health, and then went to Network, and actually looked at the Device 360 for a specific access point, you will notice that we have the ability to compare radios between two different APs. So I'm going to click on compare AP radios and it's going to allow me to choose two different types of radios and it's going to show me some of the differences with channel information, traffic, client count, channel utilization, interference, noise, etc. Now let's take a look at network heat maps. Network heat maps can be found by clicking on the hamburger icon, going to Assurance, and then selecting Network Heat Map. So you can choose a part of the network hierarchy. You can choose a KPI. I'm going to choose Interference. And then you can see all of the radios or access points are stack ranked here. You can choose a specific AP, or you can just look at all of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a specific day. So I'm going to click on June 15th and I can see interference distributed across my radios per time of the day. And this is something that's new in Fury release. We could just see it for the entire day, but now we can see it per hour of the day. Next, let's take a look at the baseline dashboard. The baseline dashboard can be found by clicking on the hamburger icon, going to assurance, and selecting baselines. So once again, you're asked to choose a part of the network hierarchy and then a KPI. So scrolling down here, you can see each of the buildings and where they fall. If you were to click on a specific building, what you are going to find are all of the KPIs now. So things like onboarding time, onboarding failures, DHCP time, so all of the KPIs. And you're going to see in the green, that is what expected behavior is and blue is what the actual behavior is. And finally, let's discuss some enhancements to the machine learning capabilities of DNA Center, specifically around the machine reasoning engine, also known as MRE. All right, so we now have the ability for ICE syslogs to be analyzed by DNA Center's machine reasoning engine in the AI-driven issue section of DNA Assurance. So in other words, after you integrate ICE and DNA Center, syslogs from ICE will be sent to DNA Center and the machine reasoning engine can analyze them for AAA issues. So in this example here, you can see the root cause analysis was done and it analyzed the syslogs and it found an issue from ICE with the message code seen here and a description that the supplicant failed to validate EEP payload. If you ever wanted to see where the AI-driven issues can be found, click on the hamburger, go to Assurance, click on Issues, and they can be found by selecting AI-driven under the Open Issues section. So that was a quick overview of some of the new artificial intelligence, machine learning assurance features in DNA Center 2.2.2.3 Fury release. Thank you for listening.